truly excited to be here on this great occasion as we celebrate the first anniversary of my dear brother, Reverend Pastor Keith Lewis. I want to thank God for all the pastors that's in the pulpit with me today. Thank you for your time, your prayers, and all that makes up this great congregation. And you know, especially, I want to thank you for how you, the, the, the songs, the devotion, and everyone that's here. Well, it is preaching time. We want to try to do something before kickoff. Kickoff is in about five minutes. So that means I have four minutes. I wish I had some help in here. And, 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 and where, I, where I come from, it can be done. Whether you say amen or not. Because the old preacher told me one time, it don't take all day. And then he set us aside and said, you don't ever want to overcook a chicken. And if you like me, I like a little juice. Yeah, yeah. Pastor, we want to thank you for this golden opportunity to come and share with you. We pray God will continue to bless you as you continue to do what the Lord has asked you to do. Well, let's get ready. Eternal God, we thank you. We bless you, Lord. Thank you for blessing us to be here today. And Lord, as we come before you, we ask for forgiveness of all our sins. Cleanse us, Lord, from all unrighteousness right now. Hide me behind your cross. Use me as your vessel, as your mouthpiece, that I rightly divide your word. And that your word will fall on good ground. Souls will be saved, saints will be revived, and backsliders will come back home. It's in the precious name of Jesus we do pray. And all of God's children did say, Amen. I have sung today. I had some hills to climb. I had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I
the question I guess I want to ask this evening, my brother and sister, have you ever counted on someone? And yet they let you let you down? Here we have briefly, my brothers and sisters, we find ourselves that Jeremiah is the author. And Jeremiah is known as the weeping prophet. Jeremiah, he writes this book of lamentations, a series of songs of mourning. He writes it during the time that Babylon was invaded and was found destruction in the land of Jerusalem. Notice how he starts off in verse 21. He said, this I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. I guess the question I needed to ask myself in my course to study is what is it that Jeremiah is recalling to his mind? I needed to understand because I want to make sure I stay in the context of his writing. And when I discovered my brother and sister, Jeremiah is recalling his deepest despair. He's allowing his mind to go back to a time when he had bitter affliction. Can I sit beside someone? Jeremiah is allowing his time, his mind to go back when he felt hopeless. And I guess the question we need to ask is even have you ever felt hopeless? Have you ever felt like you was in your deepest despair? Have you ever felt like when things should have been going right, they were going wrong? And yet Jeremiah wants to bring honor to God. Can anyone imagine a life that's been rejected? A life that's been hated, a life that's been mocked, a life that's filled with imprisonment, a life that's been ignored, and yet God expects you to give you to give him honor. It's easy to praise him when you're up. But it's hard to pull a praise up when you're down. Look at your neighbor and say, you can still count on God. Yeah. And if you're going to count on the Lord this afternoon, Reverend Keith and members and guests that's here today, my brother and sister, first thing, you got to count on his grace. Yeah. You gotta tell your neighbor, you got to count on his, his grace. You have to count on his grace because verse 22 said, it is of the Lord's mercy yeah. that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Jeremiah said the Lord's mercies. The words mercies translates to loving kindness. It translates, my brother and sister, some 30 times in the Old Testament which suggests that Jeremiah is saying it is of the Lord's mercy. It is of the Lord's kindness. It is of the Lord's mercy. It really paints a picture of God being his divine lover. Jeremiah said, I'm in love with God. And because I'm in love with God, I can depend and count on him. And so it is with us. It is the Lord's grace. It is the Lord's Amen. kindness. It is the Lord's mercy. It is the Lord's faithfulness. It is the Lord that we are not consumed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at your neighbor and say, we're not consumed. I want to know what the word consumed really meant before I moved too fast. If I'm in love with him, and I'm not consumed, what does it really mean by the word consume? The Hebrew word for consume gives us that picture idea, simply means to be not used to it. To have some help again. It is of the Lord's mercy that I am not used. I wish I had some help again. Used. And you do know that some people 
not satisfied with you until they have used but hang on and I want to tell you keep on your first year many years to come don't worry about how folks try to treat you know that God will never use you up know that you're not consumed because of his mercy and most of all because you're in love with him he said you can count on the Lord's because of his grace. Amen. Secondly, he tells you can count on the Lord because of his gift. What is his gift that he gives us? He tells us right here in verse 22. I'm not alone. The verse 20, they just kicked off. I see it on my tab, but they just, just, tell you, they just kicked, just kicked off. Verse 22, verse 22, it is of the Lord's mercy Amen. that we are not consumed, we're not used up, because his compassions fail not. But watch the gift. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. We're not consumed. We're not used up. His compassion has not failed us. But watch the gift. New. What's this? They are new every morning. Every morning you wake up. You receive a new gift. And according to the verse, we do not have to worry about them ever running out. You don't have to worry God not have enough for you. He said every morning they're new. I don't have to get a used blessing. Jeremiah said, not only are they new, but he tells us they're faithful. In other words, you can count on it. Because he said they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The word faithful. Picture God as one whom we can, watch this, depend on. One that will stand Fast. In other words, one that you can depend on being there even when no one else is there. And the good news, my brother and sister, we may face storms, we may face trials, we may face valleys, but God said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. I'm trying to tell you, keep on your first year going into year two, just keep depending on God. You can count on him because of his grace. You can count on him because of his gift. And finally, Trying to get you there. Trying to get you there. So you can count on him because of his grace. Number two, you can count on him because of his gift. But then finally, 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 finally. Tell your name, family. We ain't gonna cook this chicken long today. Tell, 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 tell. Watch, watch, watch the text. Watch the text. The last thing, if you're gonna count on the Lord, he tells us you can count on his goodness. I have his grace, I have his gift, but I have his, look at your name and say goodness. Watch verse 24, verse 24, the Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore I will hope in him. The Lord, watch this, is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Jeremiah states that the Lord God described
identified himself as a soul as the portion for, for Jeremiah. In other words, he is the battle of my life. God is my reward. God is my share. God is my portion. Lord may not give you all you want. But he will always give you what you need. I'm trying today to tell somebody today, he's still good. And I don't have to call on camel soup to know just how good he is. He's good even in spite of my ways. He says, good. Good from the original language, it simply means to be pleasant. It also means agreeable. It gives us the picture idea of one who is excellent. I know I'm not. And if, I, if the truth be told, you are not. But thank God, He is. Look at your neighbor and say, you can count on the Lord. If you can be honest with him, say, not, you may not can always count on me. I, I, I try to help some of y'all out by saying, may not. You may not can always, always count on me, but you can count on the Lord. Jeremiah said it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Jeremiah said earlier, those who wait upon the Lord will see him bring them out of their troubles. Those who wait on the Lord, he say God will bring you out of your trials. He will not fail his children. But in time, he will deliver them from all their battles. So I leave you this evening. Sorry, I can't stay long, but I'll stay long enough. And before I leave you now, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you can count on, count on the Lord. Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 in verse praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus the Father of compassion the God of all comfort who comforts us in all our troubles who comforts us Yeah.
is still counting to the ground. And by the grave, the grave of the Lord, we come along.
say you can count on him. We pray something has been said to help you, to enlighten you, to help you, to encourage you. At this time, before I turn it back over to our MCs or those who are on the program, 